The concepts explored by Gurdjieff in the Fourth Way, as well as the practices they inspire, challenge the very foundation of how we perceive consciousness and human existence. In a world programmed for conformity, where the matrix of daily life traps us in loops of fear, trauma, and insatiable greed, Gurdjieff dared to expose the invisible strings pulling our lives. He warned of the hypnotized masses, automatons unaware of the forces dictating their beliefs, behaviors, and desires. And he was right. Look around. Are you awake or are you just playing out someone else's program? Let's address the elephant in the room. Most people live in a trance. They go through their lives reacting, not reflecting. Gurdjieff spoke about the sleeping man, a being governed by external stimuli, trapped in cycles of pain and ignorance and devoid of true will. This isn't philosophy, this is the grim reality. The truth is, whether through inherited traumas or societal conditioning, we are ensnared in a labyrinth, fighting battles our ancestors lost, repeating their mistakes, and calling it free will. Take psychedelics, for example. For centuries, they've been used as tools for awakening, a way to break the chains of perception. Yet even these come with risks. They don't guarantee enlightenment, they offer a glimpse, but that glimpse is enough to reveal what Gurdjieff meant about unseen forces. Those who've experienced the higher dimensions describe a stark realization. The structures we call reality are fragile illusions held together by collective denial. And when that veil is lifted, you see the algorithms of existence, the forces at play, that control not just you, but entire societies. This isn't about retreating into a cave or rejecting the world. Gurdjieff taught the importance of being a householder, engaging with life while transcending. The goal isn't escape, it's transformation. It's about dismantling the internal chaos, the cognitive dissonance that makes us vulnerable to manipulation. Rejecting the influences of unseen forces must become a daily practice, a new religion. This is not easy. Waking up means confronting your shadow, recognizing your complicity in the system that enslaves you, and doing the excruciating work of breaking free. Let's not ignore the darker implications. Gurdjieff himself was feared by the Bolsheviks, not because of his mysticism, but because of his ability to see through the veil of control. Those in power thrive on keeping the masses hypnotized. They want you to fear, to obey, to consume without questioning. And when you start to wake up, they come for you. Call it paranoia, call it conspiracy, but the evidence is overwhelming. From the subtleties of media manipulation to the direct suppression of dissent, the system is designed to keep you asleep. But here's the good news. You are not powerless. Self-awareness is rebellion. Lucid dreaming, meditation, studying the teachings of Gurdjieff, Jung, and Uspensky, these are tools for dismantling the program. When you break free from automatic behaviors, when you truly know thyself, you rebuild the aura that protects you from infiltration by these forces. This is the fight of our lives. It's not just personal, it's collective. If we want to escape this labyrinth to transcend the loop of human suffering, we must rise. We must question everything, reject the false prophets of profit, and reclaim the divinity within us. The sleepers must awaken, and it starts with you.